And then I start to make a child say, Say me chum number poor case, Kiri Jonas, met him the nipa, mama obia boutu because of five hundred dollars. But me nya, I will let the police arrest him because my life is at stake. Jamaican five hundred dollars is see a pocket. Yes, do you want to tell what you tell what you tell what you talk with you? Maybe I know you are too tough. Yes, you are a prime suspect. You have to rot in jail and die. But as I live on this land and I do business in New York, I will take action. Uh, so, it's, it's okay. This man is dangerous to every American. I was on for video be a trendy day our social media video no Yanka Saya Trinity Jonas as usual in the live Naba Pa be a bo pinning and some bets papa no eka and say Trinity Jonas and Shen Hu Yin on one casano or to me about pa five hundred dollars no me to me a yin every war. Sansa me generate a lot of comments on social media no I'm so I'm a Kevin Taylor I bet you're not doing a dear fan home. Now before say be room no the tin some potable pound eka church in the Jonas Ebra. Yes, and only two hundred dollars. Yes, who should so for my temper but when him say one thing he say oh my time you know be she have physical home. No man who says I mean no you said I need to buy Yes, uh, uh, I, 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 uh, I, 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 no missus see and for more penal school there more sorry there more fear office baby a penny be on baba no be any camera ama when you at your home video started say cover and a kevin taylor and i'm not to be watching him say what you are planning some cassette in a near break no one can see studio h that's a word jamaica for crowd when i just said you might be no what i ain't on the baby mode in bia manager man where you want your jeffrey in some that they come on so they jeffrey kevin taylor or ebra so i've always maintained to say Emra, eh, Emra, I was so be at and we all have to respect rules, especially BBT. Now, there's this video of a young man approaching a eh, Jonas, and it's not a young man, an old man. And today, in our editorial meeting, it came up. And the reason why it came up, and I said, normally we don't discuss stuff like that, but where the utterances of the old man shows to say, such people are not supposed to be living among Americans. And you see, when you do politics with emotions, when you do politics with tribe, what happens? And then they say, it gets to a point whereby you lose your senses. You don't become intelligent again. So I saw a video and myself and my team, we watched it. It was Trini Jonas. And if, if, so I should be sure I have no problems with him. There's been a time cry. I think he has thrown shit at me. I did not respond. Because Obia is entitled to their opinion. I think once I have spoken about Chini Jonas before, and it was some joke I made. I have seen a video of Chini Jonas and uh, any man be all confronting him. And this man is 65 years a Ghanaian in America. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that I have to the moment it binds all of us. It does not matter your age, it does not matter your tribe, it does not matter the political party you are affiliated in Ghana. When you live on this soil, you are a Ghanaian. You have to abide by the rules here. So, because Mehmeti Krumhana, tomorrow I, would, I would don't know who I'm going to meet, which person is going to confront me. You know? When I see anybody do things that are any right in, in this country, I will have to react. Because tomorrow might be me. Tomorrow it might be my daughter. So, what we do here, as much as we are trying to check the system, we are also trying to protect the system. And that is what America is made out of. America is all about protecting the system. Because the more you protect the system, the more you are protected. So, but because I don't want that person or attacking we are or they become in your I need to call the cops on you. 
Some of us say Obi certain Obi. Now I can just remember you two. Now some of you are Obi and Ipanema say about the two. No, or protected on him. How he can defend himself. But my problem should be so when two men are born in Ipanema two, or two two na, or Baba me so, and or Baba me here so, and or Baba me basso. So I have to take a decision. A Baba that person will be taken off the streets of America. Send your baby. My life, my family's life, my friends, their lives will be protected. Now, I'm going to show you a video of a man who basically approached Trini Jonas. And or a 65-year-old man, Ghanani. And the kind of words, if you know, so we are going to take action. Also, a taxi driver in New York City. I go to New York City a lot. I pick a lot of taxis. And I don't want to end up in a taxi. Somebody who openly on camera says, Obey to me, Abba. It is a dangerous statement. And we will take it up. With all due respect, Chini Jonas can decide not to act. It is his own decision. And I don't have a problem with him. But as I live in America, people like that are not supposed to be on the streets. Especially people like that who drive taxis. It's dangerous. So we have taken it upon ourselves to reach out to the taxi union of this uh, New York. We are going to write official statement for this man to be taken off Taxi, he should not be able to drive taxi, and some rules are supposed to apply. That's what I'm saying, sir. Chiri Jonas is a different individual. He can decide to take action or decide not to take action. That one, it is decision. But as far as I live in America, I will make sure that this old man who is 65 years, a Ghanaian living in America. Now, let's listen to this man and the words that came out of his mouth. Also, a taxi driver. So, we are taking out upon ourselves for people like that to be taken off the streets. Tags in the or see a unifree tags in him. Sir, in summer or kind of, we have to make sure such a person is not walking on the streets of New York. I've lived in New York before for about seven years, and I know what I'm talking about. Even in America, and with all due respect, I am not going to defend Chili Jonas on his statement or his remarks. No, because nobody should defend me on my statement or my remarks. Chili Jonas, he knows what he's doing. He's not a kid. He lives in America. He pays his own bills. He takes care of his own business. Into his remarks are his remarks. He has the right to defend his remarks. You get what I mean? Into I'm not going to sit here and defend Chili Jonas what, what he has to say or what he doesn't have to say. He's a, he's a grown-ass man. He knows his decisions. Now, for this man to make it look like, say, one, or no, because, you see, you might think, say, the statement he made, you know, a, a vague statement. It is not. Say, met my papa, five hundred dollars. Emma will be a take you life. Na mean yet that statement. Eh, you can go to court. You will have to defend yourself. Now my issue now is for a sixty-five year old man, ah or a Ghanaian. Say our problem with the Jonas words are all use here. That is his own problem. But to go further to say you were taxi, you were cab driver, uchi taxi. Now met my papa. $500. That means that uh, the probability is so why you be paying uh, a high. Listen to me. Sir, who to me can say, who bet me about pa $500? Emmy, you could join us at watching here. Now, when ya, it means say, the probability of you, why you be done, it is high. So it is not you justifying it, say, but when you know, he, if he's using words you don't like, it is, it is, it is, it is your problem. In America, Krampona, Yetihano. You see people go after presidents, harsh words. People go after senators. People go after congressmen. Nobody has been able to stand on the streets of New York as a taxi driver to say, say, I can put $500 on your head for you to be taken care of, but I will not do it. That statement is a threat, and it's a threat to any person who sits in this man's taxi. Because it can be said one day, he will end up, exchange your words with somebody in this taxi and then he'll make sure that that person is killed. The statement he made, Wanyan against me, but as somebody who lives here, I think this old man who is 65 years does not deserve to be driving cab. Now, we say, 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 we say
I was on for Kevin Taylor, then some no, a dos, no, my make for Lizzie Tomato Mays and Mouse. Oh, yeah, Diane, so we are Tom, we are do a fee, when the family and as a friends, we are doing a bay at the padia, and when the Lizzie Tomato Mays, Ghana Jollof, authentic one, secret in Naba Cope, and one any Lizzie Tomato Mays, so we are Ben Quine, and Catacoin be now, we are tomato stew, Papa B, Jollof, and I will be opus, we are doing any dinner and dance so dear, secrets no, and a mature, and one any Lizzie Tomato Mays. Come again, Casa Ope Lizzy, Ubenya Pia to a one man, you rub a beer with a piano, a beer or honum, or from one number's name so good screen or so, between the pen for the incomo, now watch your brain, now and quack with fear, man, a man in your nano, a dear and me fear, and the car if you're so a good day. Yantos name take care and tell and then some no emra. Sixty five years, Sang Kanya Jimmy and Albert and I had Jimmy and a cowboy bray, and I can gun and I will so so be quack of war. E eh, den anka 65 years otna ha e eh, ka said yen wo twi taxi a ah, wo ferry e eh, enya eh, nkwasi abra na obebo ya enya eh, san sabra na obebo ya enya eh, gana na na asai na usuro se obwa ko retire wo ha na nka e den at age 65 onam new york e eh, bragi se wo ya taxi driver wo ferry are you not ashamed enya eh, time it is a Juni Chili Jonas Crampo a Yuzu harsh words against leaders in Ghana. Say Omo Manyo Manya ye na peyin toto jimini ti sawo. Utumi kofiye eko tinafiye because meka say yari e tuye tuya wotu usro se uko Ghana na watu miensa ube wu. In your act of advising the young man, you were threatening the young man. We are going to send a formal complaint to TLC. We are going to call them tomorrow. We will add this video and let them know. And there are other platforms in New Yorker. We are going to push this video. Put a, 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 a translation on it. For people in New York to know, say, this man does not deserve to drive cab, taxi in New York or a dangerous. He's threatening to murder somebody in a jovial way. And you see, when it comes to threats, there's no joke in threats. And anytime I start to make a I will say, Say me chum na papa we kase chuli Jonas metum the nipa mama obia bo tuo because of five hundred dollars but me nya I will let the police arrest him because my life is at stake because of the free chuli Jonas so no wa anya kura or the bayo bifufro and the probability sa wa ya sadi no it is there so they need to run checks on this man I am not going to hold brief for chuli Jonas what he does sorry what he does a your no one getting decision. Whatever he says, is a grown-ass man. He's over 18 years. I am also a grown man. I am 18 and over. So I can defend my utterances. And so has he. But for this old man at age 65, for you to stand in front of a police station to tell another person living in, on this soil, say, you can just put $500 on his head. Into Ochina, Nyamin Pengu. Nyamin Pengu, na chini Jonas, Bibiato na, you are a prime suspect. You have to rot in jail and die. You have to be taken to court. You need to be jailed. Now, Mr. S, get me the screenshot of his face. And I'm going to send this message. And this is something that we need to be doing often. And this man, and I, like I started saying, Chini Jonas can decide not to take any action. I respect his decision. But as I live on this land and I do business in New York, I will take action. And I will have to make sure TLC, the Taxi Union of New York, they call this man and tell him not to sit behind any steer as a commercial driver or a dangerous to every American citizen. Because the utterances alone, the probability so I be done, it is high. Ain't he, Mr. S, get me a screenshot of his face. I think I have it, Mr. S. Mr. S, don't, don't worry, I have it. Now, this man, I don't know his name, but I know by tomorrow we will get his full name. We will get his address. Um, uh, they, they, I know we will be able to pull out uh, where he lives. We will let everybody know where he lives and uh, the kind of person he is. We know we are going to get um, a lot of people showing information about this man. You remember the authorities to deal with him. This man is a dangerous man on the streets of New York. And if you know any friend in New York who is a taxi cab, anybody who basically picks taxis a lot in New York, I have a lot of friends who basically are 
uh, park their cars and 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 commute with taxis. If you know anyone on the streets of New York who basically purchases taxis a lot, you need to understand this man is a taxi cab driver. He's 65 years old, a Ghanaian living here. I don't know whether he's a citizen. He basically is threatening another Ghanaian on the streets of New York that he can just put a $500 bounty on his head and he'll be taken off the streets. This man is dangerous to every American. And the TLC needs to know that when people like these, the kind of intentions and the kind of utterances they make, people like these are not supposed to be aligned or associate, associated with the New York Taxi um, Association. So if you live in New York, if you are a friend to anybody who is a taxi driver, this gentleman has to be taken off the street. He does not have to be a cab driver in New York City. We are going to officially send an email to make sure he's taken off the streets of New York. This guy sounds like a psychopath. You might think he's joking. He isn't. And he has put every single American's life at risk. He just told this man he can spend just $500 for him to be taken off the street. Technically, for him to be killed. All because he does not support the kind of language he uses against the leadership in Ghana. The gentleman has the right to speak his mind. This is America. He has the right to free speech. So for a, another person living on this land to walk to him, to make such a statement, it is not just against the young man, but it is against every single American who bought a taxi in New York City. So we will make sure this man is taken off the streets of New York. He never gets a commercial license to drive taxi in New York City. We will follow up tomorrow, and whatever response we get, we will let you know. I was not away any Kevin Taylor, no, so now you ensure our day about our family journals and the paper. Dear course, so a woman term no home. Also, but to me, Edward, you ensure our comment section hall. Maybe any catcher, I could say my crown, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Mama Cooking Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Akosuya. There you have it, people. Lazy Tomato Mix mix for tasty and delicious. The secret to this winning meal, be it your abe, in katun kwai, in crack crack, wo konto mre, wo jollof, e diani biya ube here tomato mix no. I say, Lazy Tomato Mix makes food delicious. Can we eat? Lazy Tomato Mix, your family, our passion. This advert is FDA approved.